okay i write my subject line and then i write my email body whatever so uh, these are three parameters all of uh, string type now let's execute this okay okay now uh, we can go and check the debug log because here we have the you know we have written uh, code for checking whether the email was uh, sent was successful or not so if we check the debug log we'll get to know whether the email has been sent or not so for that let me open the debug logs again it says email sent successfully yeah so that is it let's go back to the unit and see what is next that we need to do executed inspect debug logs yeah there's something which we've already done so check the debug logs and it should show you that email has been sent successfully we have already seen this uh yeah you should see this message yeah we already saw this message i think yeah we are, we are able to see this message excellent uh now the next thing that we are required to do is call a static method okay so this time we are going to call a static method because the send email method in our class doesn't access class member variables so because this method is not accessing any of the class member variables it doesn't need to be an instant method okay it can be a static method so let's change uh, this to a static method uh, by adding the static keyword to its declaration so all that we have to do is we have to use the static word here and uh, once you have uh, defined it as a static method then you can simply call it using the class name dot method name. All right. So let's go ahead and make changes in that method. So, yeah, that's the only change that we are required to do here. Let me save it. File save. You can do control S also to save it. Now, this time when I try to call this method, I don't have to use the class instance for it i can directly call it so you know we, i don't have to define an instance of the class that's not required this time because it's a static method and not an instance method so let me just copy this part yeah this is how it can be called so i'll show you how the how it looks yeah so this is how it looks so instead of defining an instance of the class, you can straight away call that method because it's a static method. It's not using any of the variables from the class. So that's something which is not required here. You can simply uh, replace this here. Uh, this anonymous window can you can actually uh, adjust the size of it. Let me increase the size of it a little. Yeah, let me put it here. Yeah. So I don't need this anymore. Let me remove this. Now, because we are using a static method, we can simply uh, call the method using the class name dot method name and the parameter values have been supplied here. Let me execute it. Let's go ahead and check the debug logs for this. Email send successfully. All right. So going back to the unit that's what we have there are a few resources which are listed here introduction to apex code uh, apex developer guide uh, apex code resource page and all that stuff now the next is the hands-on challenge and this challenge is for 500 points so uh, let's have a quick, quick look at the challenge uh, this is basically for to create an apex class that returns an array or list of strings okay so what are we required to do here is create an apex class that returns an array or list of formatted strings in this format test zero test one okay so this should be the format and uh, the length of the array is determined by an integer parameter so you should have a method and there you should have an integer parameter defined the apex class must be called string array test so let's get started with you know, creating this particular uh, class let me go to the developer console create a new class uh, we have the name for it string array test that's the name for the class so I'll create the class first okay let's go back and have a look what uh, we require to do the apex class must have a public static method called generate string array 
Okay, so let's go and create the method inside this. Public static uh, you can define it a word method or let me have a quick look what method are we looking at uh, the generate string array method must return an array or list of string okay so we are talking about a different return type here so we should make it a list of string that's going to be returned here uh, name of the method let's take the name of the method name of the method is generate string array taking that and it should have a parameter of type integer parameter name can be uh I'll call it num okay so then we will define a list of string here let me call it results equals new list of string okay and what we want to do is we want to basically uh, the number of return strings is specified by an input parameter so the number which is entered as a parameter in the DJ parameter that we have defined for the method uh, exactly the same number of strings should be generated in this format okay so yeah that should be fine so let's uh, go ahead and uh, try to for loop for this for integer uh, equals, uh, integer i equals zero i less than num i plus plus and i would say results dot add test plus i okay so this uh, loop is going to run exactly the number of times uh, which is equal to the uh, parameter value which is entered here and at the end of the loop what i want to do is uh, i want the this method to return uh, results that's what we want let me save this and let's check if there is any uh, error in saving this There seems to be a uh, there seems to be an error. One extra end of uh, line here. Okay. So yeah, seems to be fine now. No errors. Let me save this one more time. Yeah, no problems with this code. Uh, so that's that's the code uh, i guess that's what we needed to do now let me go into this log into trailhead login into trailhead with salesforce i already have the code written and i'm only already logging into this same account yeah, so it's asking me to log in into this from salesforce i'll need to put the login id password give me one quick moment All right, so I'm already logged in. It's asking, do you want to allow this? Yeah, I would allow this. So it does ask uh, whether you want to create a new account uh, on the trailhead. Yes, so you can simply use your developer uh, edition credentials to create this uh, account. So I'm logged in with the same account. We have already created uh, the class and the method inside this. Now let's check the challenge here. Uh, so I'll go back to this, check the challenge. If uh, uh, it's done, I, we are gonna get the points for it.
So I should uh, go to this, save this, go to open execute anonymous window. Uh, let me execute this method from here. So this is the name of the class. It's a static method, so I don't need to define an instance of the class. I can straight away call the method from here. And then I should enter uh, an integer here and execute it. Gets executed, doesn't throw any error. Uh, looks okay. Let's see if uh, that's enough for me to clear the challenge. Uh, does that help? Let's have a quick look at that. Mm. Okay. Uh, one more thing that I would uh, like to do here is because uh, I would also want to check if the values are being generated properly or not. So I'll just put a system dot uh, system dot debug here, uh, which can debug the results. Uh, before it gets returned, I want system dot debug to debug the results. Now we'll execute the same method one more time and we'll check the debug logs. So ideally five uh, string values should get generated here. Let me now execute this one more time and let me go and check the debug logs. So we're checking the debug logs here. Yeah, so it generates these five values, test zero, test one, test two, test three, test four. Let's check challenge here. Yeah, great work. You have completed the challenge and you get these plus 500 points. So now let's move on to the next unit.